ready? Okay. I'm Hello, ready. everyone. Hi. Welcome to my live. If you're watching the replay, click re or type replay in the comments down below. Everyone, I have someone famous here. Welcome to my live. have the Chad. The Chad is here, everyone. Say hi, Chad. Hi, everybody. <laughs> okay, so Chad, maybe introduce yourself. Yeah, I'm, I work in commercial real estate, which is how uh, Bev and I first met a number of years ago. I've been doing it for quite a long time, and it's a very corporate stuffy world for the most part. So I, I'm thinking business all the time. But I also like to think that I've got a little bit of an artistic side to me. And maybe it's just coming one of those things where I like to exercise both my right brain and my left brain. So my, my left brain gets a lot of a lot of work at work thinking about numbers and it's just really boring stuff. So I've always had a little bit of an artistic outlet. I play guitar. I've, I draw, I do some kind of art. I suck at most of it. Uh, but I like to do that. So I, I've never done diamond painting. I had no idea even what it was, but I'm just a big fan of Bev and it seemed natural that Bev and I have been friends for a long time that, that I am going to do this. And it's probably going to be really embarrassing. And I apologize in advance, but I'm thankful that you guys are hopefully very patient and easy on me today. I'm so excited. Okay. But before we get into diamond painting, I got this box in the mail to be opened live only. And it says it on both sides. So we're going to open up this box. And I swear to God, if it's 3D printed dick, I'm going to snap. Because someone has been sending around 3D printed dicks to people in the diamond painting community. If I join that community, does that mean that I get it? Uh, maybe. Do you okay. want it? You, you can have mine if that's what it is. I'll just have to set up a PO box and uh, <laughs> see what comes in. It's from a company in Alberta, though. So I'm like, maybe it's not a 3D printed deck. It wasn't me. I can promise you that. Okay. Oh, my God. Is, is there a note? Oh my god. Who sent this? It says enjoy. Okay, ready? Are you guys ready? <laughs> it looks like a dragon. That's very <laughs> Who is sending these dicks? Dragon. That's what I want to know. Oh my god, you guys. <laughs> it's so fucking ugly. I feel I feel nice because I feel included now in the people who have gotten these 3D dicks, but like literally it's so gross. Okay. I was so there's, like, somebody, there's somebody out there just randomly sending these 3D printed dicks. Yeah. Like dick shaped things, dick dragons. And I everyone thought it was me because I'm gross, but like literally, I don't have money to do that. Like you guys are giving me too much credit. I'm not rich. Maybe so, instead of buying a camera, you bought a 3D printer. Yeah, and that's <laughs> actually the truth. <laughs> oh my that god! Been a good prank. That would have been pretty good. <laughs> so bad, so bad. Okay, so Chad, let's get into. I'm sorry if I'm ignoring chat, guys. Um, I'm gonna go watch the replay after, and I'll make sure to see your comments. Also, Chad, you should just know that the diamond painting community is full of drama. Like, there's drama going on right now. Like, before I came on live, I was like, drama? Like, uh, Like, who? There's just so much drama. Tell me more. Tell me more. It's over diamond painting accessories. <laughs> I feel that's like a 200 and 200 level course, and I'm still... I'm still in the, like, the first day of university being like, I don't know exactly what I signed up for, but I'm here. <laughs> well, I mean, you can be part... I think boys, I think men who are part of the community stay away from the drama. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's... Okay, so are you going to... un? I want you to unbox the diamond painting that I gave you. Okay. And then explain to us what you what each thing is, if you can, and show us the canvas, etc. So I actually had set up a another camera because I'm taking this very seriously. Because you're fancy. I, I'm here. I'm here to to learn and to win. 
at diamond painting. Okay. I got to figure out how I actually switch this though now. So I've got to come up to, I've got another camera that I set up here somehow. Uh, let's see. Because it won't be good just having to look at me all the time. I gotta... Hi, Clayton. Everyone say hi to Crayon. Okay. I'm going to try and switch it to this one. That works. So fancy. Look how fancy that was. That I'm, was in, cool. I'm in business today. So I'm wearing pajama pants, which as you can see. We can't see your pants. You can't see them? No. I was going to ask you earlier when you were doing your live, I was like, is he wearing, I wonder if he's wearing pants. <laughs> I can neither confirm nor deny. Oh, I can kind of see your pajama pants now. <laughs> yeah, that's the way to go. So I, I haven't opened this. I literally know nothing about diamond painting other than I've seen a few that you've done, Bev. But yeah. I know very little about this. So this is probably going to be a train wreck. I'm... I should have talked to you about your the low ratings that you're going to get on this video in advance <laughs> because this is pro probably not going to be very pretty. Well, this so it's uh, so it comes in like a really nice box with a handle, which it weighs like a pound. So I don't know why it had its own dedicated handle, but that's thoughtful. That thoughtful whoever came up with that idea. And then it comes in another case, which is also really nice. And I'm hoping you gave me like a really really basic kid on this yes there's a bit i included a bigger tray which you'll see right away i think i shoved it in there so you'll this, see it i'll open that in a second let's figure out what's in here first so i'm guessing these are all the diamond yeah. themselves. this must be the tray yes that's the tray i included i gave him a bigger tray guys to make it easier for him i i appreciate any extra help that i, I can get along the way this is a nice case too. I could use yeah. that for balance down the road. I got to say the presentation on this is exceptional. It reminds me of something that you'd get from like a high end, like Apple or something. Where it's just <laughs> the enjoyment of opening this up is actually pretty pretty cool. People are talking about your your accent. Can you say the word button? Button. 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 Yeah, button guys. I don't know if I've got like a little bit of a lisp or not, but I all like, so my name is the Chad, which I, everybody knows I'm the Chad, but for some reason over my lifetime, everybody thinks that I say Jack, like Jack, like J A C K instead of Chad. <laughs> I usually don't correct people with it. I usually just like call me anything. I'm pretty open. Like just call me whatever you want to call me. So if they want to call me Jack, that's fine. I've been called a lot worse. But I think I do, I don't know if it's an accent as much as it's just like a little bit of a lingering lisp from maybe when I was younger. I don't know. Interesting. No, I can tell that. You have to, you have to tell us what's included in the kit. Okay. Well, I don't, I don't, I was just opening the ribbon prematurely. Okay. Sorry. Go ahead. Nothing like jumping the gate on that. So I've got, I've got some pretty good tweezers here and these are actually pretty high quality. I've done like a little bit of model building. Yeah. Uh, warehouses of course because i'm a huge real estate nerd but these are actually like pretty high quality like metal tweezers those are those are actually pretty nice i'm guessing these are just extra bags is that what yes. these are i have no idea what these things are yet it looks like a squeegee is that like after like a little squeegee like mini squeegee what is that thing i have no idea the multi-placer if so zoom... if you want to put down more than one diamond at a time, you use a multi-placer. What's the best practice here? Should I be like a, a one diamond kind of guy or like a multi-diamond kind of guy? Let's start off as a one diamond kind of person. I like that style. I like that idea too. I didn't, I definitely thought that a multi-diamond placement tool was above my pay grade already. So I'll leave <laughs> that one. I'll leave that one like firmly over here, tucked away for later. <laughs> I have no idea what these purple things are. They I've go got, on your pen. Are these extra trays? Because you said you got me a bigger one. Yes. Are these two just extra? Yes. Do I need these then? No. Putting those to the side. What are these? So you, you put those on your pen so that your finger doesn't hurt. So the pen that has the metal tip, that's the one you want to use. Okay. And this is like a cozy? 
kind of like a beer yeah. thing, except for a pen, like so. Yeah. And then was this a backup if if like this one doesn't work? Or you I can put both of them on your pen depending oh. on how extreme you want to go. Seems like I'm getting like to an expert level already just by custom extra customization here. What was that? Is See, that it's comfortable. Good? Oh, I like it. Okay. Okay. And then so, what are in those pots? These little guys. So is this an extra pen or what's this? This guy. It's here? a different type of pen, but I recommend using the metal pen. Can I put that away for a second? Yeah. Too? I've got a, a small amount of real estate here, so I need to maximize what space. It's I'm not a warehouse with. that you have. It's not. It's a, It's literally a square foot. It's one square foot that I've got here. Uh, this must be wax. Yes. Is this what I dix, dip it in? Did I just say yes. dicks? I've got dicks on them. <laughs> Did I'm you say dicks? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why, where that just came out of. But, uh, yeah. uh, so that's wax. So do I, do I dip? No, I won't do it right now. But is the yeah, idea you, you basically poke a hole in the wax with the pen and then the wax sticks inside of the pen and that's how you pick up the diamonds. How hard do you push on it? And we could do that once I open it, but is yeah. it like fairly hard? Yeah. Okay. And then are they both just the same, these two wax things? They're both the same. Are they always pink? Uh, no, there's different colors of wax and there's different types of wax. Like some people make their own wax and sell it, or some people make like a putty type material and you can use that too. Okay. And then are the, where do you use the tweezers then? You don't like tweezers. I never use tweezers. Putting that to the side as well. We're maximizing this one square foot area. Those will be handy for models or something crazy down the road. Okay. Am I, okay. So, so now let's see the diamond painting. Ooh. So ah. Okay, so this this must be like a guide on where you put. Uh, could I bring that up there? Focus yeah, on. it's actually a sticker. So if you wanted to, you could put all the drills in those Ziploc bags, and then put the sticker on the bag. Or some people have plastic containers. So back up. What's a drill? Drill. Sorry, the diamonds. Do they call, are they called drills too? Yeah. How come they're called drills? I don't know. Okay. Does anybody know? Maybe that's a question that could be answered in the chat box. Let us know in chat. Why are they <laughs> called drills? You threw that at me pretty quickly. Like, I just assumed that you would have actually known why it was called a drill with how matter of factly you said that. All right. <laughs> so, 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 someone's got to know. Okay, what else do we got here? So this is, this is probably what I use when I order like a refill kit, right? No, you won't need a re every time you order a diamond painting, it will come with that kit. Gotcha. Okay. See, Good. I thought it looked American because it has the star and the red, white, and blue. Oh, that's probably upside down for everyone now because I think we got the camera the other way. So that's so this is the, the template on it. How do you typically roll it out so that it stays flat? You can roll it backwards. That makes sense. I, I'm suspecting that my one square foot is going to be inadequate for this exercise. No, it should be fine. You can put stuff on top of the canvas as you're working on it. Okay. And then there's a plastic layer over top. Do yeah, I so when you peel back, don't peel all of it off, but you can peel a little corner and that's that means and it's sticky, so that's what the diamonds stick to on the canvas. What's the wax for then? So the wax is to pick up the diamonds with the pen. Gotcha. Does it, like one dab give you one drill? So it? it will, the Can wax... the terminology? The, this the wax sticks inside of the metal tip so then you you just leave it until it becomes unsticky gotcha does that make sense it's kind of like making your own glue stick yes okay i'm following on that okay so now show, show us the drills the diamonds 
See, I even said drills. That's like I'm already up to speed on on all of this. This channel's gonna turn into diamond painting <laughs> channel. Should I open this, Bev? Yeah. As I'm opening it, I'm asking if I should open it. It would have sucked if you're like, don't open it, it'll spoil it. As <laughs> I had already opened it. That's probably very noisy. That is a lot of different colors on there, which I understand. There's got to be all the different hues and saturations to to make the actual picture work so do are these numbered are they lettered how are, how do you identify them so on the bags there should be a number on the bags and on the canvas on the legend as you can see to your left on the canvas or the right side um it has like numbers gotcha i saw your head <laughs> I dropped the legend. I should have. I should have. Glued it's on it. the canvas itself too. So why is there an extra legend? So if you open a bag of the diamonds and you're like, "Okay, I'm done with this color for now," you can put the extra diamonds inside of the Ziploc bags that came and label them with the with the sticky legend. I gotcha. I gotcha. If you want. This makes sense. So when you do this then are you going like number by number or are you going row by row or are you picking an area where so I, or like this red area right here would you try and do that first i like to um just start at the bottom right hand corner you can start wherever you want and then i just cut the plastic so i just make a a slit in the plastic so i can lift it up if that makes sense mm. and then Spell it out for me like I'm in grade a. one. You, oh, here, if I'm pulling this corner right now. Yeah, you could technically just pull the corner up and then start in that corner. So how far would I pull it if I wanted to start right here? You could just pull it there because you'll be, you'll be doing them one drill at a time. And then how do you get it to stay? Uh, fold it with your finger. Fold it down. It won't. Will my finger stick to this like a Venus flytrap? No. <laughs> okay. But it's not staying over. Okay, then you have to hold it while you diamond paint. Or okay. you can get scissors and cut a slit in it. Can I can I use a knife? Yeah. Can I like theoretically put like a knife like just right through there and cut that corner off? No, cut cut up and down the canvas, like hor vertically. vertically. And then you'll make yourself a little square. Like what happens if I take here, no! <laughs> here and go up? No. So make like pick like size it so the shape the section that you're doing is square. Okay. That's so like here. Hold on, you're frozen. Oh no. This Canadian internet. Yeah, connection. so there. So then make the slit right. Don't do the bottom slit, but just do the slit that makes it whatever so that it's still stuck to the rest of it. Does that make sense? No, it doesn't. I'm very confused. Okay, wait. Okay, so I'm here. I'm going to try the original method. Here. Fine, do whatever you want, but then you have to keep that no, little piece. Do the wrong if way. you don't finish it, you have to put that piece on top again. I set up two cameras. I'm taking this very seriously. I don't want to make a mistake here. I am okay, I'm fine. here to win. I'm here to win. Some so girls are very thirsty it. for you in the comments. <laughs> Someone changed. The, Monica changed her name to I'm here for the Chad. That's her YouTube name. Well, wait until she sees the end result. She might completely change her mind. She might By the end of this, it might be I'm never wanting to see from the chat again. That might be <laughs> the end result. It's all I've done so far is folded over a piece of plastic. It's uh, it's only downhill from here. I haven't even done this correctly. Look, I can't even get that to stay. You What's can that? hold it down as your diamond painting, or you can hold it down with the tray. Okay, I like that idea. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh, with yeah, gas. Back. Okay, what are these extra bags for us? Just like if I'm... So if those we... are... Because you have to open... You have to cut open those bags of diamonds. Okay. Right? So if you're like, okay, I'm going to put this away for now, you can close up those bags of diamonds and put them into Ziplocs, or you can pour the whole thing into a Ziploc. It doesn't really matter. Okay, I gotcha. 
So in one like this, like this seems like a bit of a daunting task to get done in the next 40 minutes. You're not going to finish it in 40 minutes. <laughs> okay, good. I wasn't sure what the expectations on this were. If I had to like get this done like right now, or if, if I get this little patch done, if I can figure out how to get this plastic to stay. I don't know what the expectations of me on this. There's I hope, no, it's, really low. I hope there's, it's really low expectations. There's no expectations. Basically learn how to do like a little corner. Uh -huh. Like, even if you laid down 10 drills, I think we would all be happy. Oh, I can do that. I can commit to that. I was still thinking there's a chance I can get this done in 40 minutes. I was still thinking that. Like, I know that's, like, very naively optimistic, but I was still looking at it as, like, I want to perform. I want to make sure that people leave thinking that, oh, shit. <laughs> and it's just, good thing those, those weren't open. If those were open, I would have just been a catastrophic failure right now. <laughs> Fortunately, they're closed. Okay, hey, back to my plan on screwing life up in general. So I'm going to start with this little corner. I've taken your advice. I've folded over the plastic. I've got my little carrying okay. tray here. So, so now I'm find the symbol. There, it's this one here, number 20. I think. And I think that's the only one I can see that looks like that. There's some different colors on. Oh, huh. Go by symbol. Oh, yeah, no, those are the same. Yep. Okay, 20. Okay, so now you have to find the bag that's labeled 20. Okay. These are really good instructions, too, by the way, Bev. I'm appreciating how you're holding my hand walking through this. You're welcome. So that's 41 through 46. So we'll put that little guy to the side for right now. Here we've got... I'm looking at this upside down. We've got one through ten. That little guy is going to the side. This is probably tedious for everybody watching. They're probably like, how is this guy so clueless? No, they're all drooling. <laughs> Brutus says the top of your head looked good. <laughs> Perfect. You guys know he's married and has children. <laughs> Which number did I say? 20, right? Okay, we found it. Look at that. We got her. I should have told you you'd probably need scissors, but I mean, a knife is fine. I've got, or I've you got, can just rip it, but yeah, I, I love, you can do I whatever. Love pocket knives, actually. I, that probably makes me sound very like weird, but something about a pocket knife, I just, I actually really like them. I've got a small collection. So, <laughs> so it's just like a little cut. Pour the whole thing? Uh, yeah, sure. Well, I like that didn't sound very confident. Like I, I had a little pour half of the bag. Okay, okay. Because you're gonna have to pour it back in after you're done. Okay, yeah, that's that, good. That's why I had to double check. I heard a little trepidation in your voice when you gave me that answer. And okay. now you have to shake the trace to line up the diamonds in the tray. No, pick it up with your hand. <laughs> Yeah, and then they'll line up in the little grooves. You don't have to get them all to line up, just some of, like, most of them. What's the idea behind that? So that it's easy for you to pick up with the pen. Somewhere in that whole process, oh, there we go. I was going to say, I might have already failed. I might have already lost the pen. But the good news is I found the pen. We're back in business. Okay. So I've got the pen, I've got the wax. Okay, so now put the wax or the pen in the wax so you get the wax is stuck in the tip. So before I do that, how many times does somebody have like a half opened number 20 and they put it down and then it spills everywhere? It happens, but most of like after you like start getting addicted to diamond painting, People usually use either those little Ziploc bags to put their drills in, or they'll put pour all of the trays at the very or all of the drills at the very beginning into little plastic storage containers and okay. label them. That makes sense. But I thought are, that are might they, be too much for you. Are they universal? Like, are these same numbers? Uh, like, is it a or it would just be like the same company? Would they make all these the same? So if you had no, that's no, it'd be different for every canvas. Interesting. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. I tried you guys to are hilarious in chat. 
How am I doing so far? Good, good. Okay. Now, so now load your pen. Sounds also very technical. So how much pressure? How much am I putting in Just there? stab it. Okay. How Is there wax in it? Uh, if not, try and scrape it. Okay. It's kind of thick wax. Like it's... Is there a plastic film on top of it? Mm, there is. <laughs> hey, how am I supposed to know this stuff? <laughs> okay, now try again. <laughs> okay, that's looking more... Is how much? There? Like, is you just want it so that it, it goes to the top of the pen. Okay, and now, like, I see that there's a flat side and, like, a concave side. I'm guessing I'm picking it up with the flat side down. Yes, and that's what the, when you shake the tray, it lines up the drills the right way so you can do it. And then when I place it on, will it just stick to it? Yeah. You don't have to press hard or anything. That's one. Yeah! Yeah! Drill for me. One small step for mankind. I'm so excited for you. I think I'm already on number two here. Now, now, like, you should do all of that same symbol in that little triangle area that you have and then move on to the next color after you're done all of that symbol. This here? Yeah. So how do you do it when you are working with two different colors? Do you, would you have two trays going? Or no, I you... do one color at a time. So I section off the like I if I were if I was doing this, I would have my little triangle do all of the the one symbol in one color within that triangle, and then move on to another color after within that triangle. I got gotcha. you. So okay. after, when I've you're like... Four, I've got four down already. Oh my God, that's so amazing. I'm just cruising. I'll screw something up, don't worry. My <laughs> hand, my hair will get stuck to some of the sticky part. And I'll, my head will my, stuck my, down there. my hand gets stuck to it and then there'll be like dry skin on my canvas. <laughs> How did you come across this? Uh, I was, when I was first dating Clayton, um, I was bored at his house looking on this app called, I don't know if you've ever heard of it, Top Hatter. Can't say I have, no. It's like an auction app and you bid, you outbid people by like a dollar or 50 cents. And then I was like, what is this mosaic craft thing? So I got it because it was, and then um, I finished it and then I was like, I want to order another one. And then I just got addicted. I can see that actually because it's. Like you, if you just let your mind go and just get at her, it's, uh, I could see how this would be very relaxing. And you know how I do whipping chats on Fridays? Yep. Um, those videos, people usually will just listen to those types of videos while they diamond paint. So it's like you're diamond painting together, but someone's talking to you. You know what that one was that I just put on? What? Number 10. Number 10. Do you like it? I think it's actually pretty neat. How long would this take to do like one of this level? I don't know. Chat, tell us how long it would take you guys to do this. It's a 30 by 30 centimeter diamond painting. And I'm guessing you don't necessarily want to rush either. I'm, I'm assuming that the enjoyment comes from taking your time and actually enjoying doing it, right? I like to rush. <laughs> Okay, I stand corrected. So, you know those multi-placers? I yeah. use those all the time. What happens if you make a mistake? And I haven't for the record. Oh, you just you just pull off the drill with the pen. Oh, really? Hmm. You just pop it off. People said it should take about a few days, a week, one to two days, three days. Hi, Daimon, oh, Strauss, hello. I hope I, I can't speak French, hello. Clayton said, I'm a power painter. I am a power diamond painter. 
why do you go through it so fast? Are you just looking to like get something done quickly and just I want just, to have a goal? Why, why I, do you power through it? I don't have the patience to do it one at a time. Like I am. Yeah. But so, I, I do it for the act of diamond painting because literally I'll just roll up my diamond painting, put it back in the box when I'm done and I don't do anything with it. I just like the act of diamond painting. But while I'm diamond painting, I like to go fast. So going back to that tool that I said was too advanced for me would be this guy then. You can try it. I, try the smaller I'm, one. I'm literally 14 beads in. I don't think I need to go to the advanced level quite yet. Okay. But who knows? By the end of this, maybe I'll be powering through this. Stephanie, so Stephanie, sorry. sorry. Stephanie said a 50 by 50, I think, and it took me two weeks and I was working full time. So that's yours is a 30 by 30 centimeter. And that was a 50 50 took Stephanie two weeks. So you should get yours done in like a week if you spent every day on it. <laughs> I'm going to have to free up my schedule for the rest. Yeah. Of the Cancel all your appointments. How, how close do you need to be when you're trying to align these? Is it like, is there a symmetry aspect to it? Or are you just trying to get it like on the dot? That's the representation there. On the symbol. So it's covering. Yeah, I think, I think I'm there. Like, I think I've got a pretty good handle on it. I'll see if I can bring this up and show it to you. Let me just take Don't it. Spill your cray. Oh, I'm very sensitive of that. So let's peel it's it. It's a round diamond painting, guys. You can see. Oh, yeah. Look at you go. Oh, I don't know if that's focusing or not. It's okay. We can kind of see. I feel like I've kind of got the hang for it. Like, Do you want to try a multi-placer? Probably. I mean, that sounds like what all the cool kids are doing. I don't. I don't want to be like the kid that doesn't get picked for tag ball tag, or dodgeball. I <laughs> feel like I need to be doing what everyone else is doing. So, is that this guy here? Try the smaller one. There should be another one. This guy. Yeah. So that one, you would um, get the on the other side of that pen. Yep. There's a hole, so put that in the hole. That's what she said. And then said. you'll want to get wax in that. It's a good thing we discovered how to take off the top protective layer, isn't it? Right. Right. Yeah. Stephanie wanted to see you uh, like squirm with the wax because she was like, I want to see him squirm with the plastic on top of it. I don't know. I can't. Kind of scrape it with the, you can take out the wax if you want, if it's easier. Like, does it fill up this cavity in there? Yeah, it's supposed to. Okay, I think we got that. Okay. It needs to fill up the whole thing. I like, the whole line. Like, to here or to, like, there? There. is. Okay. I can't see if you've actually... Yeah, I, I think I got it. Okay, so now I think that's a four-placer. So now you have to look for drills that are lined up in a four, or you can slide them around so that they are lined up in four. Looks, I got three on okay, there. That's good enough. And then find three symbols in a row. They're not perfectly lined up. My, my single game is already, like, really good. My single yes. drill game is on par. My three-way game or four-way game, whatever this one's supposed to be, is not good. But that was my first attempt, so I think I've only got room to improve. And you can, like, nudge them like I'm doing, right? Is yeah. That, that's, I'm not going to, like, get no. sanctioned. Like, no one's going to call me out. Am I going to get no. – am I not going to get a 3D-printed dick because I'm doing this? <laughs> no. Okay, perfect. Because I'd change my ways if I had to. Okay. So, so three you, in there. Like you can go back and forth using the multi-placer and the single placer, like whatever you prefer. Because I've got the skills. I can do a little twisting on there. I see. So you were talking about maybe putting this up in your office? 
Oh, I think it's going up in my office for sure. You came by and saw our office. It's looking pretty yeah, nice. Yeah, so nice. You guys, his office is so nice. Patrons, I did a tour when I originally went to his office when they were still, when it was still in construction. If you want, go look on an older video. But yeah, it's actually a really nice office. I really enjoy it. I think the lights, the lights are what does it for me. Oh no, the wax came out. <laughs> Use your finger and pick it up if you can. Can I just like throw her back in? Like, yeah. Taboo? And then can I just poke it back in? Yeah. Is that a hazard that happens or is that just me? Like the noob? No, that, that happens sometimes. Bye, Angie. Bye, Angie. <laughs> How many people are making fun of me right now? 61. That's good. Most of them are cheering for you, and then some of them are just being thirsty. <laughs> and ask, ladies, did you hear that he needs help with three to four ways? I'm in. Who am I picking up? So you're going to have a foursome, apparently. Four-way. That's a lot of work. I have actually done... Oh, no. I jumped the gun on that one. I've actually done a few of these three ways, though, now. I think That's there's three nice. ways. I don't think you can get four into this okay, party. Okay, then it is a three-way three party. Three-way three party. Three party, guys. You can always find a way to get a fourth in, like there's as long as you're creative. But for this one, it'd be tough. <laughs> this looks like a three-way party at best. Look at that good three-way party there. And I'm just going to use my patented nudge technology here. I feel like I'm getting the hang of this. I don't know if it's going to be pretty. Like, do you grade them like after you're done? Do you look at them and be like, yeah, that one was pretty good. I, I felt good dexterity. I felt as in line. Or you're like, I was drunk and I shouldn't have done that one. If you want to grade them, you can. But literally, I just stare at it. and I'll either film a video or I'll just put it back in the box and be like, oh, it's fine. Which one should I do next? How many have you done now? Um, Probably close to 50 or 60. So I'm going to catch up to you pretty quick then is what you're saying. Yeah, I can be your, your diamond painting dealer if you want. Is there like black market deals? Where do you get this stuff from? So there are black. Well, I mean, so it's important to remember that when it comes to diamond painting, you're diamond painting someone else's art. Like at the top of your canvas, it says Liberty's Light Legally Licensed from Michael Humphreys. Yep. So there's specific like. They sell diamond paintings on AliExpress, but they're not necessarily licensed by the artists. Like AliExpress sellers can just steal artwork. Yep. Um, so there's specific companies that you can order from, though, where the artist actually gets paid. And usually their kits are better quality than uh, AliExpress kits. What does a kit cost on average? Um, for Diamond Art Club, I would say... 60 to 80 dollars canadian for like big like we're talking like 60 by 80 centimeters hmm. yeah um you can also get small ones i mean the the licensed places don't usually have very small ones but you can still get small ones it's around jade so this diamond painting community that I'm now a part of <laughs> and about to get a 3D paint printed dick in the yeah. mail imminently. Yes. What, what started is it? Is it like a YouTube phenomenon or is it just people love this and they're like, oh, there's got to be other people that do this? I think it's the latter. Like just fi like when I first started diamond painting, I Googled like how to diamond paint because I didn't understand what to do with the stuff that came in the kit. Yep. And then YouTube came up and then basically I found lots of different diamond painting creators. So is it, are there competitions or challenges or like, is there a world series of diamond? No. Painting? I need to figure out like how I win at this. Like you, what, what's my end really goal? Win. It's, well, it's you more can win, it. you can win at everything, right? Like everything's got to be a game somehow. Okay. Chad, you need to say the word about about say it, it louder like about does it sound like a boot i don't know but they're saying they need, okay, you well, need to say it we're gonna go back to a camera as i like to call okay. it about 
or I'll use it in a sentence because maybe I <laughs> maybe I'm trying to consciously say it differently. I am about to become a world class diamond painter. And now say hit the like button. Hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. The button and again. Share with your friends because this is about Bev's channel is about to be world famous. Probably everybody making fun of me, but say button, 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 button. If I have to, I think say about, button, but people make fun of me. I'd say if I was saying it quickly, I'd say button. Which, um, Jade says your background in your studio looks very nice. It's cool. Hey, like I've actually got these are two black and white uh, canvas pictures, and then I've got uh, one little plant here on a bookshelf. Is and it then real? A, no. <laughs> and then a fake plant there. And then I've got kind of a cool gear. Right yeah. Here from, you can't even really see it because the camera that I'm using has a, a really narrow depth of field. So it blurs both the whole background. Uh, and then I've got, you can probably see the, I don't know if you can, but there's a, I put a light there as well. I am a full on nerd when it comes to uh, just taking any attention I, I can away from me and make the rest of it looks good, I feel is a good strategy for keeping people tuned in. Otherwise, they're going to be like, who's this guy talking about <laughs> buttons? Who's he boot talking about buttons? buttons? They're like, We're out of here. But if they look at the background, they see the cool light and they see flake, fake plants, maybe they stick around for a little bit extra. So yeah. that's, that's my whole uh, philosophy on that. Laura, Chad does have a YouTube channel. It's not about diamond painting yet, though. It's very serious. It's a serious well, channel. It, it kind of is. I mean, I, I, you could kind of tell. Like, I joke around quite a bit. Like, I, I like to have fun doing things. I think life is too serious sometimes. So I just did a three going the other way. I'm Like, instead of going that way, I went I did a three that way. I just wanted to point that out because I feel a little bit, a little proud about myself on that one. I'm proud of you, bro. Thanks, sis. <laughs> that was really mixed i might even do another one here laura says you need a diamond painting channel it would be a disaster there'd be i would get so many trolls which i'm fine with like actually i think trolls is just like a good form of engagement like it's you gotta you gotta welcome people that don't like what you're doing just as much as the ones that do but i feel if i did a diamond painting channel it would be all trolls i'd have to look for that one good comment I'd have to scroll through being people like, stop talking. We hate you. You suck. And then one person being like, that wasn't so bad. And no. I'd have to like search through and be like, oh, I found one that was okay, actually. You'd be like, I think there's like three guys that I know of that have diamond painting channels. Jeremy being probably the most popular one out of all of them. Um, and he, he gets good engagement. The one thing that he had to do, though, is because... Ladies would hit on him because it's thirsty. Those these diamond painting girls are thirsty. Um, he started calling people sister and brother, so uh -huh. that like he would call you sister, so that you like okay, we're like brother and sister. You can't be incestuous with me. Yeah, I've watched a few of those videos. Inadvertently, <laughs> I stumble across a few of those like stepdad, stepdaughter videos. They're not good. It's not good for anybody. You mean when you are on Pornhub? <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's incognito mode. <laughs> you can't prove that. You can't prove that I was on there. <laughs> Take that issue up with Google. <laughs> Look, I'm, I'm just crushing it. You're getting a lot done. I'm, I'm cruising. Are, are people making fun of me besides just my accent? Like, where, where are we at? What's going on in the chat? They are saying, please diamond paint in one of your real estate videos. That'd be pretty fun. Um, Jeremy agrees that, yes, he had to do brother-sister things so people don't um, hit on him. And then Berta says she's feeling like a cougar because she thinks you're hot. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Berta. And... I mean, that would have been the one nice comment. I would have had to sift through 50 of people telling me how much I sucked. And then I would have got one nice comment. I would have been like, that's the only one that I'm focusing on today. Laura says she's very proud of you. Thanks, and Laura. Jade says, no, we love you, King. She called you King. And then Stephanie says she's excited and happy for you. And Ambular says you're adorable. Well, thanks, guys. That's really nice. I just got my fingers stuck to this sticky thing here, like a like a trap, like a Venus flytrap. But... A Venus flytrap? 
Not a penis. Where's your mind right now? I didn't say penis. I said penis. <laughs> your mind is already fully in the gutter. It's because of the stupid thing. Seriously, who's sending these? I would love to get to the bottom of this, actually. Like, I feel that that's something, like, I would have done. Like, if you would have got that two weeks from now, you could have been like, that was probably the Chad. But this is all, like, brand new to me. So I wouldn't it's have had like the ingenuity. People are literally getting them. And, like, I, I was in a live and I was like, they probably haven't sent me one. Either because they don't like me or because I'm in Alberta and shipping from the States. Because I'm guessing it's an American person. Shipping from the States is expensive. But then it came from a 3D printed place in Okotoks. So I'm like, did they send them the file to print this and send it to me? I don't know. Interesting. How many people have got them? Uh, I don't know. How many guys, how many people started getting um, these dragon things? Like 10 people so far? Clayton says, geez, maybe I should start diamond painting for the free compliments. <laughs> Clayton, I asked you to be on my live before, but you always say no. Clayton, it's all about the three-way. <laughs> the three-way. The three-way is. The three-way. I can actually see the like the validity of doing this. Like I actually can. It, this I isn't that for I, I mentioned in the chat right before I got on that I did a really big Lego piece before over Christmas. And is it was one in your office? It is, yeah, that's right. You saw that one. Yeah. It, it's very similar to this. Like the pieces are are a little bit bigger. They're probably three times as big as these drills uh but it's it's it was all two-dimensional like this and you had to very similar like put it in the right places yeah uh this is cool though i i could actually if i could find a warehouse because i'm a huge real estate nerd if i could find a warehouse i would 100 do this you should if you took, I mean, you could find like a, a picture that either you've taken or like a warehouse on one of those free stock sites mm -hmm. and then get a custom made of it. But it's going to be a huge diamond painting. Do people do that? Like, do people like fully customize these? Yeah, some people do them of like their families or their partners or their pets. That's cool. I feel like I'm really cruising on this. How do you know or how did you meet the Chad? So I met Chad when I worked at a competing commercial real estate firm. We're both, we were both in industrial real estate. I remember, Chad, I remember you guys had an open house where you were giving away $100 to anyone who came. Where were we? Do you remember that? It was like Mount Lawn or something. Uh, yep. Yeah, I remember which one that or was. Or something. That was the first time I think I met you, and you're like, "Who are you?" So I had to show you my business card, and then I got a hundred dollars. There's no way I was asking who you were. I'm a pretty yeah, because I was new. I'm so nice to you guys. I toured a property with a new guy today who I've never met, and I was so patient with him, and he asked me some questions, and I legitimately went out of my way to just help him out, so he didn't feel like I was a dick. I did not want him getting a figurative 3D painted dick from me in the form <laughs> of me being rude. I was legitimately nice. So I I can't imagine I would have been rude. Oh, I'm running Well, it that. wasn't rude. You were just like, oh, I've never like seen you before type thing. And and while well, I rolled up with my team and then we all got a hundred. So Chad, they they gave Chad gave us all a hundred dollars for showing up to look at a warehouse. <laughs> And I was That's like, sweet. I'm like, I'm so coming with you guys. <laughs> it's pretty crazy, actually. I was just talking about that today on how many things we've got for free. Uh, I've I got a smoker with one of those Traegers. I won at an open house. I won the grand really? prize. Yeah, I won a fifteen hundred dollar prepaid uh, WestJet. Oh shit, I had a blank on that one. Uh, prepaid WestJet uh, gift card for fifteen hundred bucks that I've won. Jeez. The amount of open houses that I've gone to where uh, they just give $100 is crazy, actually. See, you guys, I feel like the guys always get everything and then the assistants just don't get anything. I was an assistant, guys. I was an assistant to a team of people like Chad. But you made such a good impression that we're friends this, this long later now. That was a long time ago, wasn't it? This is true. Yeah, that was like over five years ago, I think. 
That was a long time ago. It was a long time ago. Do you miss the industry at all? I'm sure miss- you're like really happy what you're doing, but I miss my team. Yeah. Because I worked there for five years, so it felt like a family, and they're like my big brothers who were very inappropriate. <laughs> yes. Um, but I was also inappropriate. Um, and I miss like having an office to go to, like a like a physical place, but I don't miss the industry. And there's things that they were doing that I was like, why are you guys like Kate? Hey, so for example, they would print out all the PDFs, like flyers for properties. They print them all out and then they would scan them <laughs> into the computer so that you get one PDF. And I'm like, why don't you just merge the PDFs? And they're like, what? So I had to teach them all these things. Yeah, that'd be painful. Yeah, it was very painful. Monica changed her name to he- I'm here for the Chad and Crayon because I guess Clayton was feeling left out because he's like, I'm in your videos. Let, let's get Clayton on here too. Why don't we get Clayton to do some diamond painting? Maybe we'll I'm, have like a, a competition because as I, you can tell, I love trying to win at everything. Even if I suck at it, I try to win. Maybe Clayton and I can have a race off one of these days. Clayton will not diamond paint. I've tried to get him to so many times. Crayon, let's have a race off here, buddy. <laughs> this isn't even about doing diamond paint anymore. This is mono a model. Let's see <laughs> who's the best diamond painter. I can tell you from the limited experience that I have, it's going to be me. I'm going to win. But <laughs> you could still make a game out of this. So let's tee this up. Let's uh, let's have some fun with this. Yeah, maybe when he's back in town, we should do that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you're going to lose spectacularly, but it will be still it's fun. not a competition. Clayton says competition. he's down. Clayton, get in on this. Come on, Clayton buddy. Says he's down for a little competition. Absolutely, Clayton. Crayon. 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 Not even Clayton. His, his, he should have to change his name to Crayon. <laughs> Everyone in chat just puts up an emoji for him. A crayon <laughs> emoji. They'll have to put up the silver place metal emoji when we do our race off but you could do the crayon followed by the second place silver for him and you just put the chad will just be a gold member gold medal <laughs> automatically i'll just i'll change my profile just be the gold medal that's just against Cray, uh, clayton by the way just against crayon i'm not waging bets against anyone else yet i mean <laughs> at least 10 years before i'm racing anyone else but crayon the race is on buddy Gold and silver metal at stake here. <laughs> I feel I'm cruising on this, Bev. I feel like I'm, I'm making You've some. You've a lot money. done. I, I mean, are I, you multi placing? I, I go back and forth. I, I look for my opportunities. Okay, okay. I feel um, I'm not far off from doing like a. I'm guessing the other one is what ten. I think it's probably like a. 10 or something, 9 maybe, 8 place or 7. Look, I just threw a 3 on right there. I teed that up perfectly. I don't know if I'm ready quite for that because my alignment isn't perfect on these yet. So if Crayon really wanted to train and take this seriously, if he masters the 3 placer, if he masters the 3 way, he's got a chance to maybe make a little bit of ground on me. It won't be much because I'm still cruising even with the single. But if he's if he wanted to like sense a little bit of an opportunity, a little bit of light at the end of the tunnel, if he could master the three way, he's maybe got a chance of making it so that's not fully embarrassing. But I'll leave Clayton, that to, I'll leave that to Clayton. Clayton says, I've been watching a master for a while. Now you might regret that challenge. Oh, well, let's see. Let's see. Uh, and and by watching a master for a while, is that me for the last 55 minutes? Oh no, me. <laughs> uh, I don't know. You didn't clarify. See, I don't know. It's a little ambiguous. Could be me. Well, people are saying we're going to have a three-way. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's allowed on uh, unless you go into incognito mode. And then Clayton says he'll be slamming that six banger all day. Huh. Is, <laughs> is this where it gets into the after hours section of this diamond painting? I guess so. <laughs> there's actually like naughty diamond paintings you can buy. Um, there's a like a really popular one where there's this he's like a cowboy and he's naked a naked cowboy yeah 
And then there's another one where they're like these alien things and one of the aliens has is missing a boob and then another alien is running away with the boob. Interesting. Yeah, it's really weird. Do you want to see where I'm at right now? Yeah, so show we're, us. We're getting close to the end of this, so I don't I think I should show my progress at this point. So you got a lot done. I actually did get a fair amount done. So my I start I got to there. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell. I can kind of see actually. That's, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah. Which, so when your low expectation for me at the beginning was to do 10. I feel like I was like way above that. When you're done this color, pour the drills back into the bag. I'm gonna hold on, I'm gonna switch to my other camera. So I can see you because it feels like I've been looking at this like diamond painting for a while. So you pour the drills back into the bag and then you can fold the bag and put it in a Ziploc if you want to make sure that it doesn't fall out. Oh, or right. you can just tape the bag shut for now, but you will, you will be probably using that color again later on. There's a lot of it. The whole sky pretty much yeah. is, is that color. So, so you we could... If you wanted to, technically, you could do that color throughout the whole entire canvas, or you can just work section by section. How would you do it? Section by section, but it is a smaller diamond painting, but because you're new, I would say section by section. I feel like I've already moved up from being new to being experienced. I feel like I've made that that quantum leap already. I think we need a YouTube chat. We need a whip and chat. <laughs> Yeah, I, I might have to. I, well, at the very least, I'll send you a picture of this when when I have it all done. Because I'll, I'll need to get your advice on like what you do after. Like, Put it back in the box. <laughs> is that it? Like what? What is this squeegee thing for? So that's a straightener. So you can put that on the end of the pen, and oh, then straighten okay. the drills with it. So really, even like that second yeah. tool that I had could work for that having that on there just to keep it straight oh yeah that makes sense and then if you like start to really like diamond painting you can invest some some girls are like obsessed i don't have one by me but you can get nice pens that are handmade and they're thicker so it's easier for you to hold hmm. um some girls have like hundreds of them just so, like yeah. anything right just like my knife collection people yeah. have diamond painting and your studio <laughs> And my studio, it is pretty cool, isn't it? Um, people are saying you can call your whip and chat a whip and chad. Whip and chad, I'm uh, that could just be my name. Like, <laughs> I think I might need to think bigger than just a, a show, that could be the full name. And then you can hold a real estate diamond painting event, <laughs> an open house. I'll have yeah. everybody come to get a hundred dollar gift card. You've got to not just tour the property, you've got to do a diamond painting. Are you still going to Dallas? Yes. Um, lots of diamond paint. There's lots of diamond painters in Texas. They actually had a diamond painting retreat in Texas. No kidding. Yeah. I'm planning on going in October. That's the. It depends on how these res crazy restrictions still are and what we're even able to do. I'm hoping it's gone by then. But yeah, plan on going in October. If you need an assistant, I will be your. I can tweet for you. I can like take videos of you doing stuff i like it <laughs> you just have to pay my way there and then pay for all expenses that's fair that's that's <laughs> tough but fair it's perfect <laughs> pete marissa says ooh knives how many knives do you have um probably six or seven like really good ones and then probably like another five to ten cheap ones but there's there's a huge difference between like a really good knife and like a cheap knife that you get at home depot so do you always carry one in your pocket with you almost always it has to be sh like people can see it right like that's like the law or something well they here let me i got one right here let me show you real quick i know you're probably ending this right away but no it's fine uh, so this is this is called benchmade and it's got a clip up here so that it actually sits pretty deep in your pocket. So I, I, I do use one all the time, actually. Like, you'd be surprised how convenient they are. Just 
I'm not stabbing anybody. Like that's that's not what my goal is with these, but just to open up like anything, cut something, open up a box. Uh, like it's crazy actually how often you use one. And yeah. this is just like a carbon fiber handle. And then it's got a really good steel for there. And it's just the the movement on it is just so smooth. Like you can open it with one hand and close it with one hand. Wait, it's aren't those illegal if it's like a switchblade thing? If it's automatic. Automatic. Oh. Sorry. This one I'm just opening with the thumb. So it's just oh. like a simple so fast. It probably makes me look like a serial killer. I should probably be like get away from that view so that any credibility I had built up uh, during this video. It was just like automatically lost. So like that guy's opening a knife really fast. Uh, I just, I really, I like them. I just, the, the amount of times you have to open things up. Yeah, I, I, I mostly carry one. Like probably the majority of the time I'd have just a pocket knife with me. That makes sense. Hi, James. My friend James is here. Hi, James. Um, people, people are asking about James now. Who the hell is James? My son collects knives and he carries one. So yes, it's convenient. I've never carried a knife, really. Yeah, I started carrying like a one of those Swiss Army knives on yeah. just teaching, and like just the amount of times that you need to open something up or cut something is just it was really handy. But uh, to go to a like a dedicated knife, yeah, it's, it's super nerdy, but it's uh, yeah, I like it. I had um like a fake Swiss Army knife from you know that sh that store Claire's like for little girls. In the mall, Claire's. I remember Claire's. Yeah. Yeah. I so I had what? I, I was gonna say when I was younger, I had my ears pierced. I, <laughs> I, I, <and> I, <laughs> everything's coming out, eh? I had my ears pierced and I had them pierced at Claire's. I had uh, both both ears here and then I had uh, like one up here. That was a That's long time cool. ago. Like, don't don't judge me now. That was that was a long time ago. At Claire's though. <laughs> but yeah, so I had a fake Swiss Army knife from Claire's and you know how they have those little like indents for your finger to pull the stuff out? I couldn't get it out because I guess my fingernails weren't long enough. So I used my tooth and then I chipped my tooth on it. It was a really stupid move. Is Claire's still open or did they close? Yeah, it's still open. Hmm. And Ardeen's, Ardeen, Arden, Arden, whatever it's called. Yeah. That's also like Claire's. I can honestly say I've never had my ears pierced at Arden's. <laughs> okay, well, it's 7.02. I can let you go or we can stay on longer. It's totally up to you. I'm, I'm good to go. I've got a glass of whiskey, which I've been very reluctant to drink because I was so dialed into to drilling. Can, you, can I say that? Can I say, like, can I convert that? Yeah. From, from drills to drilling? I was yeah. so focused on drilling that I neglected my whiskey. So I'm I can hang out for a bit. I, okay. Unless you want to boot me off. I'm sure I've probably reached that level where people are like, there's been enough Chad. So let's get rid of Chad. James sounds pretty popular. Maybe Jay, I can get James in on here or uh, crayon. I, I'm good to get booted off. I'm good to stick around. You tell me. You just just kick me off if I've reached my threshold. I can't decide. I kind of just want to like chat with my peeps, but then also I want to chat with you. People are saying they love you and for you to stay on. How about I stay on for like a few more minutes then and then okay. you, can, you can make fun of me and, and then I'll try to read the chat later. Okay. Everyone's like <laughs> drilling three ways. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love the chat. Okay. Do you guys have questions for Chad? Appropriate ones? Put them in the chat if you guys have questions for Chad. Appropriate questions. Remember, he is a professional. <laughs> Somewhat. I think we've exemplified that it's like professional to a limit, but there's seems to go south fairly quickly. I, I like I, I like I, the end of your videos when you do the blooper thing. I I figured when I started doing these that I couldn't just go on and talk about boring real estate all the time without showing any personality. So I, I think it was like the first few that I did. I was like, I have so many bloopers in this that I'm just going to throw the bloopers at the end of me screwing yeah. up, saying dumb things. And then enough people were like, yeah, we only watch because of your bloopers. And I was like, well, then maybe I should just make a blooper channel. I could have like three channels. I could have like my one where I think that I'm a serious professional. I could have a diamond painting one where I smoke crayon in every single week. Every single week 
it's just head to head me and crayon and i smoke them every week like and then i get a one of just bloopers of me where i say and do stupid things you yeah. could do bloopers short uh in shorts like not wearing shorts but like shorts youtube shorts that's true that's not a bad idea put it all on one channel it's not a bad idea either that saved me a lot of work Diamonds and S. Strauss wants to know: Are you going to Are you going to finish your diamond painting one day? Uh, very soon. I don't like leaving things. I'm not a procrastinator. I hate having unfinished things, so I will finish this soon. Do you think that it's going to to be something that you would do another one of? I would love to do one about commercial real estate somehow. So I'm I'm a full on real estate nerd like i've i think i've even told you before but like i've done model warehouses I'm not i'm not like a big model train guy by any means but that model train which is a whole nother hobby in itself they've got like warehouses uh so i've done i think i've done four of these model warehouses where you have to like clip it out and spray paint it and put it together I've done four of them now uh if i could find a diamond painting one of like a skyscraper or a skyline or a warehouse a hundred percent i would do one again no you can question. totally, like, I think you can do a custom one. That same company that made the one that I gave you, they do customs. Do they? You would just have to find an image. Clayton says, this guy, now I have to go beast mode on some diamond painting. I love it. Look, look at Let's get some, some trash talk going here, too. I'm uh, going gonna to follow you on Instagram or Twitter, and all I'm going to say to you he is... He doesn't have any of those things. I'll set one up for you then. I'll, I'll get Bev to send me a picture. I'm going to set up a Instagram on your behalf, and then I'll just chirp me being you. But if you ever tune in one day, you'll be like, there's a lot of chirping going on. And it'll just be me talking to myself, chirping you, though. So it's... Uh, yeah, you're it's getting into diamond painting. You're getting into Instagram now. <laughs> you know, a big day for you, actually. Really, you didn't tune in thinking there's going to be a whole lot happening, and now you're a diamond painter and an Instagrammer. So, okay, <laughs> big Tuesday for you, Crayon. He's back on Thursday. I'm very excited for him to be home. <laughs> yeah, well, he's going to have an Instagram account and some diamond painting waiting for him. He says he'll start a diamond painting Instagram for the friendly competition. Oh, it's, I love it. I love it. We could we could sell tickets to this like it's a boxing event. We could we could uh, pay-per-view it. There'll be at least five people that tune into it. So it'll be good, though. It'll be like me and you will chirp a lot at each other. So that'd be entertaining <laughs> in itself. I actually would love to see that. Well, maybe <laughs> if I can convince Crayon to do it on, on my channel, we can oh, do that one day. That'd be good. Uh, someone wanted to know what your favorite whiskey is. Without a question, Lagavulin. Uh, I think Lagavulin is God's water. It's uh, I, I've I've liked whiskey for a long time, and uh, that that PD whiskey, like Isla whiskey, is my favorite. So Lagavulin sixteen by far, like by far. There's not even a close second. I don't know what any of that is. It's just there's different regions of Scotland, and depending on where you take the whiskey from. Uh, they just have completely different taste profiles. Have you ever tasted like a really peaty whiskey? I don't drink, so no. I, don't drink at all. Yes. I think I, I think I remember that. It's it's just it's really peaty. So it has it, it it it's a distinct taste. Some people love it, some people hate it. I love it. Yeah, it's because it's peaty. It's yeah, their slogan peat moss. Kind of, kind of. So Lagavulin's slogan is uh time takes out the fire but leaves in the warmth and it's a 16 year old whiskey and that to me is poetic like you time takes out the fire but leaves in the warmth the longer it's aged the less of that harsh taste that it has but it still has that really warm taste uh 16 years is, is like great value you can get like a you can get a bottle of lagavulin in the hundred dollar range and that's just it's awesome value you're getting such a good drink out of that a hundred dollars for a drink for a bottle that's still a lot. You can get a case of bubbly for five dollars. <laughs> That's true. I also love bubbly. I love where are you a bubbly or a Perrier? I so I prefer Perrier, but it's more expensive. I'm with you on that. I'm on the exact same page. I, I would take Perrier over bubbly, but you can get bubbly so cheap. Yeah. And I always feel like classier drinking Perrier. <laughs> I don't know why, but I do. Well, I, I am Bergie after all, so... Bergie, oh, yeah, I forgot. Bergie would 
definitely drink Perrier. Like, there's no way you're going to see Bougie drinking bubbly. There's just no way. Bougie. Never happens. Bougie. Do I want to say Bougie? Yeah. Like, bougie. I can't even get the terminology right. I'm <laughs> messing up all over the place. Stephanie? Still... Oh. oh, sorry. Stephanie wants to know if your wife's name is Tammy. Nope. I had a girlfriend named Tammy when I was really young, but we didn't, <laughs> we didn't get married. <laughs> I don't know why she's asking that. Have you tried red breast Irish whiskey before? I I haven't, but that sounds like it'd be a good prize to have to the fastest diamond painter. Whoever is what? the fastest diamond painter gets the red breast Irish whiskey. Okay. Okay. So I feel like that needs to happen. But I wonder if we do a small diamond painting like the one you're working on, or we do like 60 by 60. Well, conceivably to do one in an hour, if that was how we did it, I could probably do like a grandmaster one in an hour, just based on my level of confidence right now. But for, for crayon, I don't want to blow him out of the water that early. Like that's just, it wouldn't be good TV if it was just me ahead and he's still figuring out how to load up his, his pen and wax and I'm already done. Like that's, that wouldn't be very much fun for him. So probably something a little smaller and then I think we could do it. This will also blow your mind. You can do diamond paintings with square shapes. Really? It's a lot. It's a bit harder because you have to line up the squares really nice. But for people who are very particular about like little attention to details, people really like them. Hmm. Maybe so, that'd, be a good, that'd be a good one to, to do with crayon then. We could do a round off and a square off. Hmm. We said let's do it on my week off, so soon. All right, crayon, it's on. The, <laughs> the Instagram page is already in motion, so that's you, you'll probably wake up to that in the morning. You'll have a fresh Instagram page with a lot of chirping <laughs> from me on it already, and uh, we could start promoting this right away. And TV then TV. Ruby wants to know who else. Do you watch anyone else in the diamond painting community? I tuned into Ruby's live. I think that's why she's asking. She uh, wanted the attention. <laughs> not this last one on Friday. I, I couldn't do it. I was at as at a, a function, but the one before that, where I I was so committed, I actually even went through like five different links to tune into it because every time I'd go into one, it got booted off. Oh right! I'd have, to, I'd have to join into another one. Right. So I think I went into five different ones on that, and it was really good. You're it, raw, like Ruby is raw. No. How long ball. did you stay till though? Because it got really frisky. I think I fell asleep. To be honest with you, oh. I think I just was like, I, I probably stayed for an hour, and then I think I just got tired. Did you get to the part where she was talking about toys? No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but now I've got to tune in next Friday. Yeah. <laughs> That's so funny. Uh, Clayton says, I'm quiet. I'm a wild card. Nobody sees me coming for that number one spot. <laughs> All right. That's, I like how you're setting this up as, as the loud, obnoxious guy versus the quiet, hard worker. This is, good. <laughs> this is made for TV right here. Ruby says she feels special. It was good. You're, you're no holds barred, Ruby. I, I love how raw and candid you were. I'll tune in again. I'm a fan. I subbed. I smashed the sub button and the like buttons and everything that we're supposed to do in this YouTube world. I feel like you would also be entertained by Mrs. Crochet and Coffee. She talks a lot about like her family and being a mom and stuff, but I, like I don't care about that stuff because I, I, I'm I'm not a mom. But like I find it really interesting and drop, entertaining. Drop a link. I'll set. I'll, I'll schedule it for out for you. I'm a pretty simple guy. I just like nice people. Like that's for me. I just I I love hanging out with people that are kind and nice and and what whatever they do. Like I I would never have thought of diamond painting before doing this, but I just I'm a, such a fan of you because you're just such a nice person. So drop a link. Let's let's put more nice people in there so we can sub to everybody. See, guys, I'm a nice person. Don't you forget are a nice that. Person. <laughs> Even though you took my hundred dollars at the gift card and all you remember the hundred dollar gift card and all you remembered is that I was mean to you. You um, weren't mean. You were like, you were like, I don't know what you said, but it was basically like, who are you? And then I was like, and then I showed you my card. Actually, no, I think it was someone else's card, and I scratched out their name and I put my name on it because I didn't even have cards yet because I was that new. Hmm. 
So yeah. <laughs> did I did I still give you the hundred dollar gift? Yeah, card? I did. I think it's cash actually. Hmm, even better. That's what I miss. I also miss like Christmas with coworkers and like having a boss because your boss will give you bonuses <laughs> for Christmas or like uh client gifts and stuff like that. I miss that part about working places. I it is know. it is good. I, I do love the industry. It's it's been good to me. I've I've done it for a long time. Actually, I started in 2005. So 17 years I've been doing this. You think you'll do it forever? Nope. Because I thought, I thought like you guys, like you guys, as in like the principals and like people who have investment in the companies, I've always thought it was a forever thing. But then Bryce, you know, Bryce from my team yeah, uh, yeah. left and is doing something else. And I was like, oh, I thought it was like for a forever job. I'll, I'll do it until I don't enjoy it. And I, that's, that's not the rest of my life. I won't, I won't be there when I'm old and and not having that zest to go in in the morning that's that's when i'm out so whether that's 10 years or 20 years it's i'm out at some point what do you think you'll do after uh well i've always said that i'm temporarily motivated to be permanently lazy but that's kind of like been my life's motto for the longest time but i've been saying that for 25 years now since i started working so i i think i'd like to get to the point where i've got enough uh investments that I can just hang out and do whatever I want to do. So I love talking, which probably isn't as much of a surprise with how much I've already chirped Crayon, uh, who we've never even met and I've chirped him that much. So I, I would love to just hang out with people and like go and hang out with friends or hang out with uh, people I haven't seen in a long time and just do whatever I want on my own schedule. That, that'd be like my retirement goal. I just want to be that guy that just goes and hangs out all the time. Maybe you can be a YouTuber. I think at some point I'm just going to get too old. And I think it's like I'm probably already on that cusp where people are because YouTube, there's a lot of people on YouTube, at least like in the commercial real estate space, which are really young. Uh, which oh, really? Are yeah, it's really young. Like the average person that reaches out to me is like in the early 20s. Okay. And I think at some point those early 20s uh, kids are just going to get sick of hearing me talk. So I, I feel that there's like a finite amount of time that I have of being on YouTube. I don't think so because there's always going to be people that are new to the industry, right? And then they'll want they want to hear from someone who has lots of experience. And if you're old, you have lots of experience. That's that's true, right? I don't know. And like, you could technically also have like a hobby YouTube channel where you do other stuff, diamond like paint. new pocket knives and diamond paint. Do race offs with crayon. Yeah. <laughs> we could milk that for several years. I feel like if we like really step up the chirping, I, I feel like we could get like a lot of mileage off that. You guys could also have an OnlyFans where you clean the house in your underwear. <laughs> that might be a good path to monetization right there. Yeah, I think so. And a Patreon too. Hmm. I can see that. You guys should totally do that. Um, Tracy wants to know, like, do you plan on traveling or like, where do you want to go type thing? I, I would love to travel again. I like, I, I want to go back to New York so bad. I, we were in New York in 2017 and I loved okay. it. That was one of my favorite cities I've ever been to. Uh, we were in Hawaii right before the pandemic. Uh, we did a trip to Maui. I've, we, we've done like a fair amount of traveling. I've just been so reluctant to travel with all these COVID restrictions. I know. I still want to get stuck somewhere for an extra week if if you get COVID there and you're in a crappy motel for a week as you recover. So I really, I, I'd love to travel again. That's very high on my list of things. And that, that's probably been the hardest part about this whole pandemic is being stuck in one area. Yeah. Uh, but I just, once all these restrictions are gone, I just don't really feel confident. What about you? Are you are you traveling anywhere? Are you going anywhere? Uh, Clayton wants to go to Japan. Well, we'll have to see what his work schedule is like and plus COVID. Mm -hmm. um, and like usually, usually I'm at least traveling like within Canada for conferences and stuff. But because of COVID, I haven't for the past few years, I haven't done any of that. And even if it's like just going to Calgary for a conference, like that was like, I still got excited about that because it was something different than Edmonton. But totally. there's nothing really like that to look forward to. Yeah, it's it's weird, isn't it? Like it's just it's just a weird time to be alive when all this 
craziness. I know it's really sad, actually. Yep. Yeah. Well, it's the good news that comes out of this is that we get to do cool things like this. And then I get to entice Crayon into doing a diamond painting, potentially a series. Like this might not even be a one-off title event where I take take the, the, like the heavyweight be uh, belt and I'm like, I, I'm the guy. Like this could be like a series where we do over a long period of time. So that's one good thing that's come out of all this. Clayton says, let's do it up. He's down. And can you guys do it? And then I'll upload it to my channel so I get the monetization from it. <laughs> Look what shirt I actually wore on this. I got to maybe stand up a bit. Likes are free. Where'd you get that from? <laughs> it was a guy that I know that's uh, in the UK that was putting them on. So I bought one. That's like, awesome. So everybody, I'm going to I'm gonna jump off because I feel okay, like go. I already well overstayed my welcome. Okay. People are probably getting really sick of me. No, they're uh, not. But, but oh, you have to go. That's fine. I want to leave with like a couple things to say, if I can. Can I have a soapbox <laughs> for like 30 seconds? Okay, go ahead. Crayon, me and you are on, buddy. It's going to be a title match that could potentially go longer because you'll want to win the belt back when I win it and have it for so long. Eventually, you'll get tired of me having it. You'll want to win it. So it'll be a series. It's on. We'll do it on Bev's channel so she can monetize it. Second, thanks for introducing me to Diamond Painting. I hope I did you proud. I got a lot more than 10. A Thank lot you. More than 10. And I like it. I will, I'll finish this, I promise. And then I'll send you a picture and you can critique it. You can give it a score. I'll show everyone. I'm sure everyone will be partly embarrassed for me, but they'll still say he's a lot better than Crayon's going to do. So I feel, I feel vindicated on that, which is good. <laughs> and uh, and I want to thank you for having me on here. That's that's it. Yeah. That's all I'm say. Everyone's saying thank you, and you did awesome. Jade thank says you. they adore you. She adores you. And yeah, so thanks so much for coming. This was really fun, and I do hope that you continue with it. I promise you that this one will get done, and I will find a commercial real estate or like a warehouse one or something. Okay. To do. And my ultimate goal is to get a 3D printed dick in the mail, so I'll know that I've made it once that happens. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, all right, we can do that. Thanks, thanks so much. I really appreciate thanks. you having me on. Bye, Chad. Have a good night. I put some links to other people in there too, so I can go and uh, sub to some more. Okay. okay, I'll send you some links. Bye. Good night, everybody. Hi, everyone. It's just me now. What should we do? Should we end the live, or do you guys want to chat? Do you want to talk? What should we do? Chat is gone. And now it's just me. Now you're stuck with me. Hello. Hello. Jade, can I say at the end of your um at the end of your video, Jade, when you're like you're like doing this like a dance or something? I was like, Jade is so hilarious. I missed you too, Jade. I've missed you. He is really awesome. He's very nice. Okay, so can we talk about this? Who sent who's sending these? Who's sending these? I want to know. It's not me, guys. I swear on the lives of my cats. It's not me. Naomi! Naomi, I have, I'm gonna do that after my live. Look, I have this like weird curly hair here. My plump lips. Oh, we can use lip plumper. Lip plumper. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, everyone. I'm sorry if I was ignoring the chat. I tried. I was reading it. I might not have said anything. Hi, Rose. Bonnie. That's your thinking dance, Jade? So, guys, Crayon is back on Thursday. I'm very excited. Crayon is back on Thursday. And apparently I have to show him how to diamond paint. I I don't believe him that he'll actually have a showdown with Chad. I really don't. I, I don't believe it. Um, Rose, the timing of I just came is showing her as Bev is showing her penis dragon. Did you finish your whip? Uh, I finished my hair Juku girl from Mary's Diamonds. And now I am working on Yolandi from Diamond Shop. And good news, my friend is making me rebuild her website again. 
And she's like, I'll actually pay you money this time instead of a gift card. And I was like, no, I want gift cards to Die Moon Shop. So I, I've been adding things to my wish list on Die Moon Shop. Uh, I have to actually start and like finish her website in order to get those gift cards. But I'm very excited because last time she gave me a $200 gift card to Die Moon Shop. And I'm very excited because I like, I really like Die Moon Shop. Crayon will because a man dared him. Maybe Crayon will just do it because he's been challenged. I would just like to make a note for the record. I came with up with Whip and Chad. Okay, Randy. So Randy's the originator of Whip and Chad. Stephanie's the founder of the Chad, the name. Lucian. What's Lucian? Clayton, you do not know how to diamond paint. You've never diamond painted. You've never laid down one drill. Excuse me. I will have to watch the replay. Yeah, you will. It was, it came to me in a box. And the box literally said to be opened live only. And I kind of thought that maybe it would be a dragon dick. But the address is literally Okotoks, Alberta, which is like a small town in Alberta. So I'm thinking whoever sent this to me, um, they hired a 3D printer in Alberta or in Canada because shipping would probably be a lot for shipping me a dick, dragon dick. So I think that's what they've done, but I want to know who it is, guys. No, Jade, don't do it. My desk is nice with lots of space to work. Clayton, I'm going to take over your desk next time you go away for work and I'm going to diamond paint on your desk. You hear me talk about it all the time. You know what to do. Okay, we'll see. We'll see. Lucian. Oh, I didn't know that, Jade. Hi, Mary Lou. How are you? Stephanie's been threatened. Someone's buying socks for people close to the person's home. Who else gets a dick? What? Cox? I saw that you ordered that, Kate, and I'm really excited for you. It's probably Shay. That's why she's not making trace. Shay actually received one, I think, too. Analyze the handwriting. But this, this handwriting is probably from the seller. They probably told the seller the instructions. Randy got one. It was me. No, you didn't. Lindsay, Lindsay's so proper. I can never see Lindsay doing something like that. Seems like a Naomi thing. Thank someone send Jeremy a flying vagina, a dragon vagina. What was your gift, Bev? Hi, Sandra. It was this. <laughs> Look how big it is, too. It's so disgusting. It even has like a vein. You guys. And you didn't get me one? Oh. It does say, Rose. Rose, it says it was shipped from, I googled the address earlier, and it's shipped from a diamond, or diamond painting, it's shipped from a 3D printer in Okotoks, Alberta, which is a small town in my province. It is ugly, Diamond S. Strauss. It is so ugly. Oh, yeah, Diamond... Diamond S. Strauss, um, Tabernak. I was supposed to say Tabernak for you, right? Tabernak. I can't believe Lindsay said dick. You're going to be dragging these nuts on your desk. Of course, you Google everyone's address. Sandra, you do have lots of trees around your house. Just saying, just saying. Guys, today I had a Red Bull and it was so good. I'm trying not. Like, I'm not going to buy another one for, like, a few weeks or something because I don't want to get addicted to them. But, yes, it was so good. Googly eyes. Oh, I wish I had googly eyes. Maybe I could draw them out if I stole credit. <laughs> I wonder if there's... Let me check my phone. Hmm... Mm. Kareen was here. 
My friend Kareen was in chat. Do you did you guys see my friend Kareen in chat earlier today? That's good, Sandra. I'm originally from France. We say putain. Putain? Is that how you say it? Putain. Through withdrawals for Jesus, so Lent it is. I really thought like it could be Debbie Rice. It could be Sandra who's sending these. I, I honestly have no idea. Putain. Can you show the draft? The draft. Hi, fairy tale. Hi, Cynthia. Jeremy. There you go. Googling addresses again. I'm good at it. You randomly stick them on things when you're shopping. That's hilarious. That is funny. Sandra, I don't know. You're silly. Putin. 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 I don't think it's cool, guys. I think it's really gross. Like, what am I supposed to do with this? Like, I was, there's a shelf behind this, and I was going to organize it and put all my little trinkets and stuff that you guys have sent me and, like, some books and stuff. But this is not going on that shelf, because can you imagine me presenting at, like, a, a conference, like, an online conference with this dragon dick on my shelf? Very inappropriate. Jade, bet you can't find my address on Google. You sent me your address, Jade. No, not Putin. Putin. Put Putin. I know it's Sandra. I don't think it's baby cakes either. <laughs> right, Randy? Because you got a white, a white one, didn't you? No, because it's inappropriate, Ruby. Look at I can't get rid of this freaking curl in my hair. Did you guys have fun? Should I show other people how to diamond paint too? I want to have Creative Chris on my live soon. If you guys don't know Creative Chris, he's really funny. You accidentally had a pound bag of weed in the background while te teaching. <laughs> Tape a mic on it and just casually use it in your face-to-face -face videos. <laughs> no, poot is a whore or hooker. Oh, okay. I'm bad at French. Hey, there's one of those people. Mods, you're not doing a very good job. Oh, Jeremy got it. Thanks, Jeremy. Chris is awesome, Foxy. A white snail with a peener. Ew! Stephanie, that's so gross. Literally, I saw Berta saying that she was going to put washi on it. And I was like, this is what washi would look like if you stuck it on the peen. Wasn't it Chris of Cal who brought the penis lollipops to the retreat? I don't know. Poot. Whore or hooker, Putin, 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 Putin. Is it Putin? Do I say Putin? Or that's Putin. I don't know how to speak French. I don't think it's Chris or Cal. That's what I thought of too, Naomi, that it was a dick ring. My lips are burning. Did they get bigger? I feel like maybe they did get bigger. The top lip at least got bigger. You've been in top chat this whole live. All LOL, I also said not big enough. Now I want fries. Okay, well, I'm going to go in five minutes, guys, because I want to diamond paint and text crayon. Um, I have to... I still have to clean the litter boxes and take the garbage and recycling out. And then tomorrow, I need to wipe down the kitchen counter and I want to do the kitchen island tomorrow. So we'll see. 
No, Emeralds and Fairy Lights would never send something like that. She's way too proper. Way too proper. Stroke it, it will grow. It's not growing, Steph. It's not growing. It's not growing. Um, oh yeah, what video do you guys want for Thursday? Do you want me to do a post review of my Harajuku girl from Mary's Diamonds? Or do you want me to do to put up the second unboxing from Diamond Shop? Let me know. Chris and Keller here. Oh, my lips? I'm stroking them. They're not growing. It's so small. What's tiny? What's small? Unboxing? Okay, unboxing. Yeah, Lindsay, I want the fuggler. Lindsay, did you try the wax I sent you, Lindsay? Okay, I'll put the unboxing up. It's only like a five-minute video, but I really like the canvas as well. What if there was a real peen? What if there's a real peen inside of this? And it's just rotten. At least you didn't get a red rocket. True. Die Moon Shop. Okay, I'm going to... I'll do the Die Moon Shop unboxing and then I'll do the post review for Monday's video and Friday will be whip and chat also just so you guys know Clayton said that when he comes back because he's not going to be in town for my birthday but we get to go eat and I got to pick and I pick sushi and ramen because I want to have ramen and sushi because I'm a pig so Clayton you better still take me for ramen and sushi for my birthday for my pre-birthday month. And then when you get back again, Clayton, we can have birthday dinner and then we'll have a post-birthday dinner in April. I have no idea. Ew! Uh, I have no idea how we'll figure it out. Nobody knew what a fuggler was. They're so dumb, Chris and Cal. Or is it Cal? My birthday is March 2nd. Awesome! Mine is March 7th, Rochelle. Sushi is so good. I could technically, like, I went for, thanks, Kaden. I went for sushi with Chad for lunch once, and he was, like, full after eating, like, so many rolls, and I was like, I'm going to eat the rest of them. So I ate, I ate, like, all of the sushi because I'm a pig. It was so good, though. It was so good. Yes, Yokozuna. That's the place. I've never been there, Clayton. Ruby, I also have to send you your rabbit and the rest of the, your little gifts. Maybe I'll... Oh, I have so many packages. Clayton, when you come home, just so you know, there's like a pile around my desk. And that's of all the stuff I need to get shipped out, sorted into boxes and shipped out for my friends. So don't judge the pile of stuff around my desk. Heather, your birthday's March 8th. That's awesome. Stephanie, no. My daughter will be 24 on March 3rd. That's crazy, Naomi. You don't look old enough to have a daughter that was 24. That's 24. You don't like sushi, baby cakes? You're crazy. Seriously, you're crazy. Sushi's so good. That face is called the gizmo. Is it? Oh, let's look at the stripper rat. Randy was telling me about this stripper rat. Oh my god, Randy. Look at Kate. See if you guys can see this. It's a rat. A stripper rat. That's hilarious. That's so cute. Holy, $113 Canadian. Or is that US? That's probably US. It's so cute though. It's a little stripper rat. That's adorable. Sushi's not gross, Lindsay. Ew. No. Oh, look what, look what uh, Stephanie just posted. Hi. Who's that handsome devil, Stephanie? Everyone get thirsty over Matt. 
everyone get thirsty. Is Ruby leaving? Okay, bye, my wife. Goodbye, Ruby. See you. It's not nasty. You're nasty, baby cakes. That's so rude. You think it's the pole, but it's a rat penis. No, it's not. It's not. You guys are so bad. Also, also, I bought these Twizzlers. You guys have Twizzlers in America? Stephanie, I also got you Wonder Bars today. Eh. Twizzlers. Oops. You do have Twizzlers? Of course we do. Fun. You guys don't have Wonder Bar or Coffee Crisp or Smarties, the chocolate Smarties. What else do you, do you guys have? Um, do you guys have caramel bars? You feel like a dork getting them as a grown woman? Come with a jelly like substance. What are those, Stephanie? God, Randy, so demanding. She wants twiddlers. <laughs> I'll twiddle you, Randy. Okay. I'm just trying to figure out what candy I can send my friends. Also, Thank you to my mods. I noticed that some of those spammy comment people came in and you guys took care of it earlier. Thank you very much. Yeah, I've never heard of those stuff. <laughs> Randy wants twisties. Is it rude to eat on live? Is it? I'll stop. Ooh, what if, what if we do this? Oops. What if, the Dragon Twizzler, woo! It's just a little bow tie, little bow tie. Twisties, me too. Clayton wants twisties. Clayton, do you want twisties when you get back? You do, Jeremy, but you're not showing your face. Okay. Anyone who's been lurking and has not commented in this chat, put an emoji. Only people who have been lurking and haven't chatted yeah, put an emoji in the chat so we can see who the lurkers are. And don't be like, I'm funny. I was talking this whole chat and here's an emoji. No, it's only people who have never, who haven't chatted, put an emoji in chat so you can show yourself as a lurker. I'm waiting, bitches. Jade, you should go get some candy. Okay, Steph, no. That's what I meant. Like, no. Shay's here. Hi, Shay. Shay, are you going live on Sunday? Lisa? Bonnie? Mike? Mike Morgan, I saw you earlier. Hi, Mike. Arlene, hi, lurking is fine. I just like to know who's there. Melanie P, hi. Okay, everyone go to Shay's Live on Sunday. You have caramel? I like caramel. F Valentine's Day chocolate is 50% off at Walmart, guys. <laughs> just a heads up. I went to Walmart today and Valentine's Day chocolate was 50% off. Linda, hello. Pika, Pikachu. Hi, Pikachu. 
Just be glad only one of the personalities came out okay. What? What personalities? What you talking about, Willis? Vixie? Hi, Vixie. Are those people kissing? They're embracing. Okay. Well, with that being said, guys, thank you for all my lurkers and the penis. Okay. Honestly, thank you very much for whoever sent this to me. I feel, like, very included now. Like, am I cool now? Um, I do feel very included because I was kind of sad seeing all these people open penises and I never got one. But thank you very much to whoever sent this. I wish that you would just tell us who sent this, who's been sending dicks around because it's hilarious. And I would like just to like laugh and be like, haha, oh my God, I never knew it was you or whatever. But thank you for sending me this. It is literally really gross, but I do appreciate you sending this to me. And the person who sent it, they addressed it to just Bev. And the person who sent it, they have my address somehow. So it has to be someone we all know. It does. Berta, no! You're not watching the replay. I'm live still. Oh, is Randy live too? Randy, are you going live? They wouldn't. Chris, is it you, Chris? Sandra, thank you so much. You're so silly. Thank you, sissy. Also, Sandra sent me gloves. They're in my purse, but she sent me gloves. Thank you. This morning when I was brushing snow off my windshield, it was, it came in really easy or it came in handy. You may or may not have held something else of theirs in your hand. Are they a pen maker? Is it Elizabeth from Enablers Outpost? Okay, everyone go to Randy's live after she's live on Sunday. And Ruby's live on Friday. And Jeremy's live on Saturday. Jeremy, I was so sad when you didn't go live that one Saturday. I had like, I set up my diamond painting. I told Clayton, I was like, Jeremy's going live tonight. And then you weren't live. And I was like, oh, what am I supposed to do with myself now? It came in really easy. She's still thinking about that damn dick. What? What are you talking about? Anyways, guys, I'm going to go. I'm going to go diamond paint. Um, yeah, there's drama going on. Okay. I'm like, I'm going to go now. But there's drama going on in the diamond painting community. And it's like, why you got a name call? Why you got to be like that? Like, people are saying they're, like, too good to, like, be bantering back and forth but then they're being mean to someone and calling them names and like why why do you have to name like name like if you're like I'm too mature for this uh why are you calling people names why making fun of my friend bro why making fun of my friend why you gotta call people mean names that's mean that's really rude that's rude that's rude. Whatever, Steph, just tell me. Okay, I'm going to go. Be nice to people. If you have beef with people, you can bring it up with them, but you don't have to be mean and call them names. Call them names behind their back. <laughs> Literally, you don't have to be rude. Especially if you're like, I'm too mature for schoolyard blah, blah, blah. But you're going to call someone names. Where's my tea? I need to sip the tea. Yeah, there's the tea right there. It's because I'm a Naomi, you are a bitch. Aw, oh, Jeremy, that's okay. I'm just biking you. I was very sad, though. Okay. There's the drama. Steph laid out the tea in the chat. Um, Just be nice. Like, why you gotta make fun of Muni? She's so, she's like one of the nicest people ever. 
Like, she's just down to earth. Very sweet. There's no need to be mean. Okay. Now I'm like, I'm going to go. And then I'm like, still here. <laughs> okay. I'm really going to go now. I'm really going to go. So I'll see you guys later. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Thank you to whoever sent the dragon dick. Thank you to the chat for being a great guest. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this live. And if you're watching the replay, don't forget to comment down below that you watched the replay. And thank you, Kaden. <laughs> Um, yeah, so I'm going now. Bye, guys. I love you. See you later.